The 2013 Taiwan food scandal refers to food safety incidents in the Republic of China Taiwan that began in October 2013. Affected products included cooking oil, health pills, alcoholic beverages, milk and rice. Companies involved Chong Kai Foodstuff Factory Co. Chong Kai Foodstuff Factory Co. Chinese, Da Tong Zhang Ji was found to have used copper chlorophyllin, an illegal coloring agent for cooking oil, in its olive oil and have adulterated its higher end cooking oil with cheaper cottonseed oil. The company was fined $28.6 million in accordance to the Act Governing Food Sanitation after authorities have found that their products had been adulterated. In December 2013 company chairman Cao Chen Li was sentenced to 16 years in prison for his role in the scandal. The company was also mandated to pay a further $50 million fine. A $1.85 billion fine levied by the Changhua County Public Health Bureau was annulled in July 2014 because Cao and two other company executives had already been jailed. Cao Sung Xian of the Ministry of Health and Welfare's Administrative Appeal Committee stated, Given that the Changhua District Court has handed down a punishment against the company's chairman, Cao Cheng Li, in December last year, the committee members decided to cancel the $1.85 billion fine in accordance with Article 26 of the Administrative Penalty Act. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Flavor Full Food Inc. Flavor Full Food Inc. Chinese, Fu Wei Shang Shi Pin Gu Fen Yu Xian Gong Si was accused of blending cheaper cottonseed oil into more expensive cooking oils to increase their profit. On 26 October 2013, the company admitted of their wrongdoings through health officials. The company had adulterated 24 of its products sold in Taiwan with cheaper cottonseed oil, and also added flavoring agents to one of its peanut oil products. The company had been fined $8 million for 25 violations. The former chairman and his brother were each sentenced to 16 months in prison and ordered to pay $25 million in September 2014. The company itself was ordered to pay a further $5 million fine. Formosa Oilseed Processing Co. Formosa Oilseed Processing Co., Chinese, Fu Mao Yu was found to intentionally mislabel their six cooking oil mixtures as pure olive oils. The company general manager issued an apology saying that the company will stop selling the small package olive oil. The company was fined $15 million. <laughs> Genurbs Biotechnology Co. The weight loss pills manufactured by the Genurbs Biotechnology Co., Chinese, Jing Yin Er Sheng Wu Kg were found to contain unauthorized drugs. The pills product called the Wellslim Plus Plus contains Cetylostat, a lipase inhibitor designed to treat obesity. <laughs> Sing Lin Foods Corporation In early November, sodium copper chlorophyllin was found on Wu Mu Chinese, Wu Mu steamed spinach ramen noodles brand manufactured by Sing Lin Foods Corporation Chinese, Xing Lin. Tyson Enterprise Co. On 20 November 2013, the Food and Drug Administration of Ministry of Health and Welfare confirmed the grapeseed oil made by Tyson Enterprise Co., Chinese, Taishan contains the prohibited food additive copper chlorophyllin complex. Ta Lean Alcohol Company The contents of 11 out of 12 alcohol products manufactured by Ta Lin Alcohol Company Chinese, Da Lian Ji Ju Gong Yi Gong Si were found not to match the ingredients listed on their labels as announced by the Department of Finance of Changhua County Government on 28 October 2013. The company was fined $5.5 million. Topic: 
Ting Xin International Group The chairman of Ting Xin International Group Chinese, Ding Xin Ji Tuan was indicted in early November 2013 on fraud charges because of mislabeling products and violating the act governing food sanitation in connection to adulterated oil purchased from Chong Kai Foodstuff Factory Co. Wei Chuan Food Corp Wei Chuan Food Corp Chinese, Wei Quan Shi Pin were found to be involved in an adulterated cooking oil scandal. The chairman of the company offered a public apology during a press conference on 5 November 2013. Reactions Domestic responses ROC President – On 23 October 2013, President Ma Ying-jeou pledged to strengthen inspection on food and beverage manufacturers and severely punish those with altered food products. He also ordered the Ministry of Health and Welfare to hold a national food safety conference in November 2013 to address the issues. Executive Yuan – The Executive Yuan had announced that it is setting up a joint food safety inspection and control team between the Yuan and Ministry of Health and Welfare and Council of Agriculture, ROC Ministry of Health and Welfare on 23 October 2013. Minister Chu Wen Ta said that he took full responsibility for cracking down the black -hearted food suppliers. Food and Drug Administration FDA on the 29th of October Deputy Head Wu Xu Ying said that the MOHW had drafted law amendments to increase penalties for any food fraud The maximum fines would be increased while the minimum fines would remain the same FDA is also seeking heavier criminal penalties for manufacturers of adulterated or counterfeit food by longer prison serving duration Rewards will also be given to any whistleblower exposing food fraud within his her company Deputy Minister Xu Ming Neng held an interim press conference on 30 October 2013. There is a list of 37 cooking oil products in which he would ask the MOHW officials to go to those manufacturers and conduct investigation because of being suspected to contain fatty acid issues. The list consists of Taishan Enterprise Co. Chinese, Taishan Ting Xin International Group Chinese, Ding Xin Ji Tuan and Taiwan Sugar Corporation Chinese, Tai Tang Rock Minister of Economic Affairs Moea Vice Minister Woody Du said that the Moea Industrial Development Bureau is reviewing the Good Manufacturing Practice GMP system and might require a manufacturer to present its export and import invoices and declarations and to allow on-the-spot inspection for its production line when it seeks certification. He said that the Moea will ensure that the GMP is a guarantee for safety, and without it, consumers will be exposed more to unsafe foods. Rock Environmental Protection Administration Minister Stephen Shen said on the 28th of October that he would instruct local cleaning squads to accept and recycle oil bottles that still contain the adulterated oil. Democratic Progressive Party former Chairman Shi Ming Teh said on the 24th of October 2013 that he and his friends would file a class action lawsuit against Flavor Full Food Inc. To seek compensation over its adulterated oil products because his household's organic sesame oil was all from the company. Any compensation he receives from the lawsuit will be donated to charity organizations. International responses China In mainland China, a food distributor in Fujian filed a lawsuit against Chong Kai Foodstuff Factory Co. to seek damages for compensation. Xiamen had ordered 40,000 liters of cooking oil made by Chong Kai Foodstuff Factory Co. to be removed from shelves and stepped up inspections on edible oil products purchased from Taiwan. Singapore Singaporean food suppliers that source from Taiwan cooking oil companies involved in the food scandal were ordered to hold their shipping by the Government of Singapore on the 22nd of October 2013. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> United States. 
In United States, stores removed all Taiwanese foods tainted by the chemicals and other questionable products off the shelves. See also 2011 Taiwan food scandal 2014 Taiwan food scandal